Welcome back, everyone, to... I just said Bear Dev Tycoon. That was so unintentional. Didn't... Did I not? <laughs> I did it in the freaking uh, YouTube alert video as well. Oh my god, I am just so silly. Hello, guys. Thank you for coming out. Hey, Ray, Meows, Baconator, Jalorda, Dr. Soup, Alibot, Scooby-Foo, Cool Knight, Wolfinator, Metal Yoshi. Hello, guys. Man. Holy cow, good crowd tonight. Thank you for coming, everybody. This is gonna be fun. It's been a long time since we, uh... Since we played ourselves some Game Dev Tycoon, so let's do it, man. I'm ready to go. Uh, first of all, I gotta remember what in the world was going on. I think Bear Trek was a, uh, was a publisher deal. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Do you have the MacGuffin? I'm not sure. Hello, guys. Oh, my goodness. Welcome everybody out. This is your first time here. Feel free to follow the stream. You can be notified when it goes live that way as well. As the uh, the YouTube announcement and whatnot. It's a busy day of school and work, young the fish. Good to know you're here, buddy. Now, we have no project going on. We don't have very many research points. But we do have three million dollars. So I think what's probably needs to happen now is uh, a publishing deal, perhaps. Let's have a look at. What we got going on? The Dream Vast just came out recently. The Rock War Man, the Manly Gold Light Studio. Still sick, Dr. Soup. Yesterday was apparently like the worst day for everyone. It's just sick sickness across the globe. It was crazy. Let's see. Any topic, any platform adventure game. Medium size, score minimum of six. I'll beat you with my bare hands fighting game. I like that. Um, you know what I was going to do, actually? I think I was going to try to just do a contract assignment real fast and uh, get a few more research points in order to find a new topic to play on. So let's see if we can do that real quick. There's enough. $30,000, which is... I, I lost money doing that, honestly, which is kind of crazy. You're going to stream on Valentine's Day? Probably. Uh, well, actually, that would be... A Friday, which would normally be the midday stream, but could happen. By the 100 Let's Plays, just follow. Thank you, buddy. Okay, I am going to do the research, as I said. Let's see what kind of topics we got available to us right now. We've got movies, fashion, business. Not a lot that I'm really stoked on. Hunting is the only one that I've really wanted to do. 4 a.m. here. I hope you appreciate it. I love you, miss. That's awesome, dude. Thank you for coming down. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hang on to these research points, actually. None of those are really that appealing, and I'd, ma I'd much rather get a few of these crazy new, uh... Crazy new game engine features for later on. Stop me from doing homework, Grasshopper. I think you... I don't know if you should blame that on me, buddy. I think we all know what's going on over there. Publishing deal! I want to try this one out. Let's see if we can do the uh, Any Topic Adventure on any system. I think, uh, I think that's easy enough. Plus, 10% royalties is pretty good, too. Bear fashion game needs to happen. I agree with that. We'll do an adventure game for now, and, I, and we know that adventure games are good on the PC, and the PC still has a pretty damn solid market share, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now, what kind of adventure game are we looking for? We could do a detective adventure game. I think we've already done that, actually. Uh, Wolfinator, that's gonna be the second hour of the show today, buddy. We're gonna do the, uh, all the new, super cool, uh, Spelunky content patch stuff. Mmm, man. A pirate adventure game could work. Huh. That could be cool. Wild West adventure game. Still got these ones up here that we haven't really looked into. Or a medieval adventure game. Yeah, Raven Darkfire. That's what I was thinking about, too. <laughs> Hello, Simple Poison. Good to see ya. I like it, Medieval. Your first stream, Link8003, the Moogle. Welcome, welcome. Yes, we just got started here today, guys. Thank you for coming out. Uh, I'm toying with the idea of meta Medieval. Medieval. Evolution adventure. Oh, boy. Legend of Bear Island. <laughs> hey, there we go. That's not a bad idea at all, Axelatine. What will we do with that, though? A hunting adventure? That seems that seems dark. Oh goodness. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Medieval, man. Medieval Adventure. Medieval Bear- yeah, I was actually thinking of that. Medieval Bear Fair, something like that. Chivalry... Medieval... Actually, you know what? I bet the game punishes me for putting the topic inside of the game name, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go with, uh... Daggers... Spears and bears. Oh my. <laughs> there we go. It's going to be for everybody. I don't know if I want to make this uh, a mature game at the moment. Hello, Ajaxis. How you doing? Oh, uh, yeah. We'll call that good. All right. Oh, got to roll with the game engine, actually. Bear engine number five, version number three. BSU grad, how you doing? Bear knights. The bears of the bear be in bear man's chest. <laughs> Ooh, Mountain Bear, that's a good one, too. Medieval War Bear, yeah, that's what we were looking for. Um, yeah, let's roll with this. And 3D Graphics V2, looks good to me. Right on! Okay. Vani has announced the much-anticipated successor. Oh my goodness, we're already looking at the play system, too. Damn, we are getting into the future really quick. Does not focus much on online play, but instead seems to focus on the strengths of the previous play system, a solid upgraded controller, including vibration function, upgraded graphics, support for DVD titles, and even backwards compatibility with PlayStation 1 games! I mean, system! Oh, goodness, tangents. How you doing, buddy? Doing my homework and watching this Los Angeles. Dude, Steven, I am doing fantastic. You know what's kind of funny, actually? I took a, uh, I took a Benadryl this morning. Not knowing it was a Benadryl, it was like some cheap knockoff brand, and <laughs> now I'm really sleepy, but this is helping me wake up. Um, let's have a look at this stuff here. So, story and quests. I feel like that's going to be a design thing. I think uh, Sergio's still good to do that. We need to train up our newbies here still, and Austin's actually getting incredibly good at tech. So I'm going to put him on the engine. I'm going to put that up a little bit more. The gameplay is going to be great. Story and quests are... Yeah, actually, you know what? Story and quests probably still need to be really good. Let's make those super important, actually. And, uh... Somebody left a comment the other day on the YouTube version of these saying that we should probably pick and, pick and choose these selected features. Well, first of all, we've been doing fine without doing that. But second of all, I don't understand why we need to really, like, save that little amount of money. I mean, like, sure, it's going to be added up to, like, maybe forty or $50,000. But I'd much rather just add everything. I think I'm totally fine with that. And I see no reason to change, so here we go with that. Uh, and Sergio's gonna work in the story quest, yes, yeah, so that'll be good. Hello, Gravity Bounce, how you doing? Yes, Sleepy Bear, indeed. I got tranked. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, there we go. We're gonna spend some money on marketing this thing as well. Let's go with a, uh, hmm. Do I wanna do a small campaign for this? I'm gonna go with magazines and demos for this one. We are, uh... We're doing a publisher deal, so I'm not entirely concerned with the uh, the lack of publicity. We just made over 1.2 mil off Bear Trek. Very nice. Ted is almost completely annihilated, Scooby Foo. I'd say he's like 99% off of my face, so that is really exciting. I'm happy about it. All right, level design is going to be a little bit lower. I think I've got a good balance of my folks working on these things. And uh, we're going to leave these up as well. Okay. Colby Summers is good. Austin Steele is good. Oh, we got to change these, actually. Let's move these down a touch. Actually, that's not going to make a difference at all, but maybe let's make dialogues a little bit more important. With better dialogues. Hello, Shyster. We have to save the fangirls that like to ship you and Bisnap. I don't even understand that question. Uh, <laughs> hello, Crazy Cow Clock. How you doing? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to call this good. I'm actually going to boost this up just a touch and be happy with it. Okay. And Relic. I just have a game main bear. I very well could at some point run a game here. Since release of Dreamcast, Vina has been one of the fastest selling consoles in history, but lately it seems the anticipation of the upcoming Play System 2 release is slowing down sales. The Play System 2 can hold up to the hype when it releases, and Vendetta could be in deep trouble. Oh my goodness. Oh no. That is troublesome for our dream vast friend. Okay, graphics gotta be huge, but I'm gonna take that down just a touch to adjust it. Sound no, not that great, world design's gonna be stellar. And uh, I like this balance as well. 
Peter Parsons obviously can't work on too much given the nature of his uh, newbiness. Block versus Wow, glad you can make it. Talking you the man, buddy. No, you the man. Man, look at all those bubbles. Oh, snap. Oh, snap the M box. Micronoft has announced today they will enter the game console market with their very own gaming console called the M box. Free demonstrations have been impressive, but you'll have to wait and see how it fares against the popular Dream Vest, as well as against the recently announced and much anticipated Play System 2. New console is said to debut in the coming months. Well, I can tell you one thing: we are going to have a sci-fi first-person shooter released on the uh, on the M box called Bearlo. That's an obvious choice. Hello, <laughs> Eventless Hydra and Fiery Dragon. All right, PlayStation 2 is out, which means I am likely going to uh, try releasing something on that at some point pretty soon here up oh, normalized market again all right more bubbles whatever we're setting records every time we do that we certainly are good management oh yeah got it it might be a bit funny about asking questions I think I missed something halo bears evolved <laughs> hello salty smurf and gambit man how you doing? Okay. Oh my god, everybody got raises all of a sudden. Alright, so we are uh, we're spending a lot of money. Special training available for Austin Steel. Advanced cutscenes and 3D graphics V3 available for research. Oh my goodness, stores everywhere out of stock. Oh my god, fans have resorted to buying the console and internet auction sites for as much as five times the normal price. We gotta make something on PS2. Uh, Felipe Bundy, yeah, I have a little make Laffy Taffy. Him and I actually did a video together. It was uh, a lot of fun. I love that guy. Okay, well, Bunny's managed to have the most successful launch in history. Sales of Venus Dream Vast have plummeted. Oh my goodness. All right, Dagger, Spears, and Bears, oh my reviews have come in. There's two exclamation points in that set statement. An eight! Very enjoyable. Very good, very good. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Informed Gamer, for agreeing with me. I'm glad we were on the same page there. Good game. Good GG. GG Game Hero, adventure games work well on the PC. Hi, I'm all games. I'm very informative. Snap, crackle, pop. All right, time to research some stuff. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to make Mr. Uh, Colby Summers generate the game report for that little sucker. My God, look at those sales going up. They're not even done yet. Let's see what else we can do here. Micronauts has announced the lay of the new gaming console inbox. The new release date is later this year, quote unquote. Bear Cl oh god, Dark Cloud, aka Bear Cloud for the PS2. That's not a bad idea, Fire Dragon. I love Dark Cloud. Yeah, that was a great game. Uh, rumor has it the incredible success of the Play System 2 launch has prompted Micronauts to delay their own debut. The game. Oh right, yeah, Deep Platinum, the publisher. Nice, cool. All right, we're doing pretty well for ourselves with that one. Five hundred thousand in sales in the first week. I like it. Uh, what else can we research here? Let's go for. I kind of want to do the next level of 3D graphics, but multi-genre could also be fun. Oh, I don't have enough points for that. Uh-oh. Well, we're going to get some, I hope. There we go. All right, now we've got enough. Let's do this. Multi-genre research. Uh, I kind of want to send these guys on vacation because I'm not really losing anything by, you know, like not having them here right now. Bear loves Dark Cloud. That was like one of my first favorite RPGs. You're in a really great mood, Dear Fox. That's awesome. Great combo, level design not very important for this time of game. Very good. Ooh, pair hops or psyops. Nice, I like that too. All right, you guys go on vacay as well. Made quite a bit of money back from Dagger, Spears, and Bears, oh my. Oh wait, we only put one there. All right, well, that'll work too, I guess. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's go for a medium booth this year. Not a large booth. I'd rather not spend $1.5 million. Let's do a medium booth at G3. We can afford it. Still selling Dagger, Spears, and Bear. And uh, pretty soon here... You know what? Let's go ahead and make our own game here. We're going to go for... Oh, we can do multi-genre. Do we ever get a shooter? I don't know if that ever happens. Dark Cloud is your favorite game of all. That's, that's not a bad uh, favorite game to have. Ratchet and Bear, that's a good one too. Uh, you know what? Let's actually choose the topic first. So we're looking at the PS2. I'm leaning towards sci-fi. We could do cyber. Oh, cyberpunk RPG. Let's do that. 
Cyberpunk RPG on the play system. That is a big licensing cost, but it is so worth it right now. Look at how, look at their market share. I suppose it's not even that much higher, but totally worth it. Okay. Multi-genre, man. That is crazy. How about an action RPG cyberpunk? I like that combination. Make Bearsona, Bear Keeper, Dungeon Keeper. You can make people pay $60 to mine out a block of land. Hello there, Mercury Eclipse. Oh, you just got the notification from Twitch. Oh, man. Hey, he's struggling. Okay. So we got our uh, action RPG cyberpunk game. Yeah, Shadow Bear was my first thought as well. People have been suggesting Bear Effect for a long time, but I don't know if we want to release that on the PlayStation 2. Just, yeah. <laughs> Make Bear Story like Cave Story. I, I'm leaning towards Shadow Bear. Multi-genre never worked for me. The ratings I got were always awful. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I got an 8879 on that last game. I'm gonna go for Shadow Bear. I'm I'm hoping this multi-genre thing doesn't bite me in the butt. Oh, Bear X Machina, that's a good idea too. Bear X. <laughs> Let's. I like that. I like that a lot better actually. Bear X Machina. Is there a colon? I'm pretty sure there's a colon. I'm actually gonna Google that right now. Hold on. Deus X Machina. There's no colon. Okay. Well, we could make ourselves unique by putting a colon in there, but I'd rather stay true to the original. Oh, or not take out the X. That's one of the most important parts. Don't make me do this. Come on now. You can work for me. There we go. Bear sex machina. All right. I like it. Let's go for that. Good stuff. 3D graphics V2. Did I pick the bear engine? Oh, crap. I really hope I did. I might not have. Well, that would suck. Oh, goodness. Bear X invisible bears. You've done adventure RPG and action strategy, and they both worked out for you. Okay, cool. Word, yo. Bearchin and Clank. I think we gotta do Ratchet and Bear. We're gonna do that, right? Uh, let's see. First of all, Cyberpunk act RPG action game. Story and quests have gotta be great. The engine's gotta be pretty good, too. I'm gonna let the gameplay dip a touch. Just kidding. That's gonna be really big, so... There. It's hardly changed from our last one. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I can imagine multi-genre is pretty hard to balance out, too. Let's keep this... Uh, I think uh, the allocation of people is pretty damn good. I mean, like, it hasn't it hasn't screwed us over yet. I am, I'm liking the way things have been going lately, and we haven't really had a bad game in the last little while, so... Let's go ahead and keep... Keep the allocation of resources the way it is. I just hit the microphone like a professional. All right, G3's got to do better for me this time around, man. We've got nearly 100,000 fans. I'm certainly hoping we can make a presence here. At least a little bit of one. All right, this, that was even lower than the last G3 presence we had. I don't know what it's going to take to be successful there. Jeez. Hopefully one day. All right. Dialogue's got to be really big as well. The AI is going to suffer a touch. Level design. I'm going to move that up a little bit. I'm worried that's the wrong decision. Everything at max all the time. There we go. Chat die for a second there. The real second you can watch Barry when you have a girlfriend watch a show. One of the greatest months on YouTube. Get addicted to the point where she watch all the shows. <laughs> there you go, Liviana. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the path to success right there. Uh, let's call this good. Yes, yes, indeed. Bear necessities. Oh, we gotta do that at some point as well. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Professional microphone whacking, exactly. Okay, uh, world design's gonna be great. Graphics are gonna suffer a touch. World design... This is sound. This is the sound slider that I'm manipulating over here. I'm gonna let that dip a bit. Is chat dying again? Oh my god, Josh Raid! J Smith 1 million raid! Music simulation called Bear Hero, that could be very good as well. Bear Index to the Precursor Legacy, beautiful. Alright, I like that balance. J Smith Raiders! Let me see that OTI wash. OTI wash, I'll do it myself. Boom! Oh man, we just made 3.2 mil off that daggers, bears, and spears, and junk. Terrible name for a game, but who cares? We got a lot of hype for Barris X Machina, man. This is good. 
Work out those bugs. I want to see a 90 in that design field. There we go. Hello, J. Smith Raiders. Welcome out, guys. Thank you for coming. Bear Cooper Thieves in Caves. Nice. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, I leveled up again. Nice. Looking good. Peter Parsons got a raise. Rich backstory. Oh, yes. Boss, it's way too hot in our office and the heat is starting to impact on our work. I've researched and found an air conditioner which would be perfect for us. It costs $90,000. Colby. How long did you spend on this, man? How much time did you spend finding the perfect air conditioner that would cost $90,000? Let's get it. All right. First reviews for Bear Sex Machina have come in. Oh, 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 a eight. All right. Very enjoyable. I like seeing those tens up there. A nine. Can't, oh, can't wait for the sequel. You're goddamn right there's going to be a sequel. A ten. Yeah. From Game Hero. I like it. Oh, nice. Holy cow. Barris X mocking a kicking ass. Let's see here. Well, first of all, what we might be able to do is get that special training for uh, Colby Summers. Actually, it might not have been Colby Summers. Oh, it's Austin Steele. That's right. Clear t trend toward adventure games recently. We can make an adventure game. Uh, needs 20 RP. Oh, he has to train a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and train this guy up. He needs to get his technology to 500. So we're going to go ahead and train him in code jam. I'm also going to train myself. What do I need to train up in? Maybe some uh, maybe some more design boosting could help me out. Maybe research. Hmm. Or speed. Now nah, I'm going to go for design. Just want the closest one to 500 really. Sergio is going to generate the game report. For Bear says, Mockingnet, very nice. 100,000 fans with such a big fan base, you should not be able to self-publish medium games. It's radical. Hell yeah. Have you made Mega Metroid Party Card Kong 64 HD game of the year yet? Yeah, that's uh, that's upcoming, probably. Oh, man, look at Bear Sex Mockingnet go. Holy cow. Killing it. Very nice. We should probably be training these guys, actually. Uh, let's boost this dude's speed. So he'll go to time trials, and you, sir, are going to work on your, uh, technology. You're actually quite quick already, so let's get you, uh, going to the code jam. Good stuff! Bertendo surprises us again with a very enjoyable game! A perfect example of how dialogues in the game can be so much more thrilling than in a movie or book. At every stage, I felt like I really had choices and was driving the story a stellar effort by Bertendo. Arnie Kunkel. Electric Games. Thank you, Arnie. Yeah, this is a lot of money, man. Six mil. Barris X Machina killing it. Nearly 500,000 sales. It might happen. That's a great combo. AI is not very important. The platform audience match is fantastic. Good to know. Mbox has been released. All right, Barlow's coming out. I don't know if I have FPS available to me. I seriously doubt it. Uh, let's train this feller again. He's going to get even more tech points, and uh, I might train myself. 500,000 sales! If the game were a music record, it would have gold status. Or Tomb Bear. Yeah, Bear Raider or Tomb Bear. Yeah, that could work out as well. Bear Total War. Your third week of sale is always your best. Oh, man. We wonder how many more it will sell. That That's some insightful reporting right there. Let's see. Train myself again. I like that design pixel cup stuff. Let's keep doing that. Sergio's on vacay. I'm going to spend like all of my research points on training here, even though I, could, I should probably look into getting a better engine. I don't have nearly enough. What we could do is do some contract work, actually. Let's look for a big contract job and get a bunch of research points out of it. I think uh, this one right here is probably going to be my best bet. So let's do that. Still making a ton of money from Bear Six Machina. We need Bear Lunky. Just Bear though, yeah, like Halo, but with bears. You know how it is. Uncommon Gamer! Uncommon Gamer, thank you very much for your subscription. Bear hug to you, oh, for the love of God, get those, please, please, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, come on, go! Nice! Oh, man. Uncommon Gamer, bear hug to you, buddy. Welcome to the bear cave. Make yourself at home.
Thank you very much, sir. Or ma'am. For your subscription. Really appreciate that. Goes a long way to support me everything I do. You are awesome. Let's do another contract job. I like the research points we're getting out of this. Go team, go! Barisax Market is still killing it, man. Oh, yes. $7.2 million. Oh, hot diggity dog. That is insane. Very nice. All right. More research points for me. Let's see if I can research a, uh, a vast improvement to my engine. And video playback could be that. Dialogue tree could be even better, actually. Advanced cutscenes. I like that. Let's go with advanced cutscenes. I think that'll be pretty good. All right. We do have 18 research points remaining. I'm going to train Austin Steele again because he's close to that special boost thing. So let's go with the... Uh, Code jam one more time. He's gonna be he's gonna be so sick of the code jam by the time he comes back. And uh Colby Summers can train with uh five research points here in speed. Well, who's our slowest member actually? Probably Sergio. Let's do uh do some more research for him real quick. Yeah, Dave Dave Club, we made a uh we made a freaking fantastic game, dude. That's what happened. It was pretty awesome. Alright, you're gonna do this one. There we go. Spending all of our points. Allocating all of our resources. I think Austin's, yep, right there above technology. Very nice. Okay, I have a theory. That, uh... Hmm. Actually, my theory's bunk. Let's see what else we can do here. I'm gonna go with a sci-fi RPG. Sci-fi action RPG. For, uh, everyone... We're going to go with the M-Box. I think that's going to do well. And this is the closest thing I can get to a first-person shooter, so we're going to release Barelow on the M-Box. And uh, it's going to be for mature audiences, medium-sized game. On Behringen number 5v3. I quit and run with my money and sell everything. <laughs> Man, we got so much more to do. We're growing. We're learning. We're... So happy, Bear of the Colossus, Shadow of the Bear, maybe even, could be a thing that happens. Okay. Guitar Barrow. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna rock the, uh... I gotta make it a mature game to pay proper homage to the, uh... To the original release, so let's go ahead and start that development off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna advertise the shit out of this thing, man. Let's go with a... Should we do a large campaign? Two million dollars. Yes! I'm doing it! Barelow shall be my biggest game ever! Gameplay, story a little bit worse, engine a little bit worse, gameplay's gotta be amazing for Barelow. Oh, we're gonna get that hype, baby. I know a lot of people are probably really mad at me for just spending two million dollars on this game, but I'm so happy about it. Hi, this is Christopher Rignall from e Gaming Check. I got the word the Bear Tendo is working on a new game. Would you want to share some information? Yeah, absolutely. What is your expectation regarding the success of Barelow? Do you think that the game will be well received? Hell yes! Hype the hell out of that! Get the hype! There it is. Hype machine, hype train are rolling! All or nothing, man, exactly. Alright, dialogue's not that important. Level design's gotta be really big. AI's gotta be pretty big as well. So we're gonna dip those down. Well, it is an RPG, I guess. The dialogues need to be pretty big. Uh, do I want level design to be that big? I guess not. I'm second guessing myself here now. I'm so worried that this is gonna be a substantial flop. <laughs> are you gonna get the slot in the new update? Yeah, we totally are. I'm excited for it. Uh, okay, good. Yes. Get those bubbles up, man. Look at that hype crawling up. gonna flop because you released two games of same genre back to back. Yeah, that's true. Probably will happen. Oh well. I had seven million dollars. We can come back for it. Bear Creed. Uh, let's see. World design, maybe not so much. Graphics are gonna be great and the sound's gonna be pretty awesome as well. What is an RPG? I guess, yeah, this is starting to seem very familiar to me and I wonder why! Are you hyped for Dark Souls 2? Ugh, yes. <laughs> I don't know why I made that noise. That was my hype noise, I suppose. Uh, geez, this isn't going to be very good at all. 
Hmm. Do that? Yeah. yeah. I don't know about this, man. Market is normalized again. Oh, I totally forgot the adventure games are really big right now. Oh well. Hello, Lemony Boar. How you doing? The hype is sailing away. Look at the hype, man. Look at it skyrocket. It's the most hype we've ever had for anything. Baratendo is excited. Oh, Barasex Machini's got to do well at G3, right? Come on now. Be kind to me. Let me let me enjoy G3 for once. That's a little better, but probably still not in the top 100. Yep. All right. Well, that's never going to happen in our lifetime, I suppose. Let's go, Bear Low. Let's go, Bear Low. Let's go. All right. That's a new combo. I didn't get uh, whatever the other third one is, but let's see what happens. Venus today. Oh, the discontinuation of the dream vast. Venus presses well. Many companies will still deliver games for the platform. The company will no longer produce new units. That's a sad thing. Yes, we know that Dreamvast was a was a wonderful work of technology. Holy crap! Almost perfect. Very enjoyable. A ten? A ten? Everyone loves it. It's the greatest thing ever. One of the best. Oh man, Marlo! Hype it up, yeah! Fuck it, everyone that doubted the bear low. Oh, it's wonderful. Everybody go on vacation. You earned it. You go on vacation. You go on vacation. You go on a mega vacation, buddy. Peter Parsons kicking ass. Sergio, get that game report going. I don't like you as much as the rest of the guys. That's not racist. It's just because of the color of your shirt. Bear low is... Oh, my God. It sold 500,000 units in the first week. Wow. The hype train has not crashed. Oh my god, that's amazing. How is this happening? Competitors have been observed muttering jealous remarks. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, it's the best. It's the best. Everyone loves it. Exclusive interview a while ago, Bear from Baratendo made very bold remarks about their then in development game, Bala, predicting that it would be uber successful. I did say that, you guys remember. Now that the game is out on the market, the consensus is that Bear was spot on, as the game has received very positive reviews. Oh, with all this positive effect on sales. Hell yeah, it has. Make Knights of the Bear Republic. J. Smith! OTI Pixel. J. Smith, oh man, you're here to see a platinum release. We've sold one million copies! One million copies! That's my, uh, oh man, if I had a face cam, you'd see my pinky up to my mouth. The excitement around the game seems to have no end! Oh my god! This is amazing! Everyone's back! Where's the game report, Sergio? Come on now. If you're not a fan of Nintendo now, the chances are you will be after playing their latest hit, Barlow! This type of game, the core gameplay mechanics are really important, and the developers nailed it! Barlow really deserves the top spots on the charts, chasing green gaming world. Hello, Code Tracker! Oh my goodness. Bertendo has grown well under your management. I think it's time to move the company out of this technology park and into a building worthy of our success. I've seen the perfect building for our new headquarters. It's not cheap, but it'll allow us to grow even further. The new office also has space for additional expansions. Eight million dollars. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to move just yet. That might be jumping the gun a touch. Let's hold off on that, Austin. I always, I need to train you in your super cool, great combo. Gameplay is very important. Platform gender match is wonderful. Austin, you need to get your super boost training, buddy. Got to spend a million dollars on you. I don't know if we're going to move into an office just yet. Wow, we're making like $2 million a week still, though. Holy cow. Maybe I was, uh... Maybe I was wrong not to jump on that opportunity. I'm so I'm sure we'll be able to do it pretty soon anyway. All right, let's go ahead and research another big boosting thing to my engine. Let's go with a uh, video playback. I think that'll help me out. That's really expensive, man. I don't know if we want to do that just yet. I'm kind of worried. But we do have twenty million dollars. Oh goodness, the play system is gonna be out the market in two months. Out of research points. All right, Austin Steele. Boosts are powerful to allow you to temporarily increase the output of your staff. They're most effective when it's time strategically during the development of the game or during training. 
Boosts need to recharge before you can use them. You can activate a boost as soon as the recharge process is complete, but you also wait a little longer to further increase the effectiveness of the boost. Nice. I like that. Okay, I am pretty damn close to getting a boost for my own character as well here. Holy cow, Barlow might sell 2 million units. It might do it. Nintendo announced the new Nintendo Game Sphere. Oh my god, that's the best looking console I've ever seen. Try to compete with Vani's market leading play system 2 and Micronoft's strong alternative, the M Box. Curiously shaped console with similar hardware specifications as other consoles. Did you build Barlow by being sketchy? <laughs> You've got a point there, man. The Game Sphere is Nintendo's first console to have an optical disc drive instead of cartridges. However, instead of using full-size DVDs and DVDs like its competitors, the console features a mini DVD drive. Game Spheres will start rolling into stores next month. Radical. Okay. Let's make another game, man. Let's make a sequel. Let's make a sequel to one of our best games. Which most of them have come out in recent releases. We could do Left 4 Bear 2. That could be pretty good. Uh, oh my god, My Little Bear 2, Even Barrier. That's a casual game. That's not really a good idea. Uh, sequel to that thing. Yeah, we already did that one. Final Bear. Oh, we can make Final Bear 8. That's not a bad idea. Final Bear to see 8. Ooh, Barrio card. Trey and Josh, the game's very yes. Oh, man. Bear for left, too. <laughs> I kind of want to make Final Bear C8. But I also like the idea of doing left for Bear 2. On the play system, too. We could do that. We could do that. Mm, let's see. Just skip 8 and 9 and Bear and make 10. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I would do, honestly. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the sequel to Left 4 Bear. Let's do Left 4 Bear 2. Zombie action game on the Play System 2. Well then again it could do pretty well in the M-Box. Yeah, let's go on the M-Box, because we know action games work well in there. It's gonna be a mature game. Left 4 Bear 2. At <laughs> that would be really funny. I'm gonna do that. Left 4 Bear at. There it is. All right, Bear Engine number 5v3, let's do it, man. I don't know if I have to do a multi-genre game. I don't think I do. So let's not. Oh, wait, can I can I not do that? There we go. All right. Zombie action game left for Bear at. On Bear Engine number 5v3. You can't just switch consoles like that, Bear. People have done it before, man. You think we need a new engine? Hmm. Need to make Bearderlands one or two. <laughs> oh man, you don't want me to switch consoles. You don't want me to be that terrible, uh, terrible developer that that makes the initial release on the first version and switches consoles on the second. The only reason I'm doing that is because I know that the Inbox does action games well. I'm gonna roll with this. Because it's what I do. Like I said, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm going to do it because it's what I do if there weren't a chat. Even though I love you guys, but... i got to stick with my uh, with my roots here. Okay. We pretty much know exactly what to do with the... Uh, with the things here, so that's good. Why does that percentage show up, I wonder? It's like... Oh, hold on a second. Right there? Apparently that's where it needs to be. Is that what it's telling me, I wonder? Bear, I got it. Max likes turtles. What you got? Yeah, play systems off the market anyway. They don't care about it anymore. Let's go with Left for Bear at. Bounce like so. Hot Bear, Bear Ammy. 20 million in sales. Bear low, killing it. That sequel's gonna be coming out. For the Mbox 720. 5.6 mil on the play system. I like it. Bear them hearts. <laughs> Hello, Caleb. How you doing? Linoco. Oh, man. Don't worry about it. You're here. That's all that matters. Thank you for coming. Dialogue's not important at all. Okay. Level Zion a little bit. Good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Man, Austin Steele is super good. He is on 
AI, which is mega important, which means it is boost time. GameSphere just came out. I'm employed with the Environmental Protection Agency. I have an offer for you. Your company is a high electrical footprint right now. If you install solar panels, you can decrease your footprint and save money in the long run. And you'll sponsor 50% of the cost to bring your investment. Sure! Why decision to install your solar collector? Thank you, smiley face. Oh, I gotta wait for the boost. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta market this game. Yeah, good point. Small campaign? Large campaign. Screw it! Left for bear at! We gotta be big news here, man. We'll spend two mil on a large campaign for that. Sergio's gotta go on a vacation at some point here. Graphics gonna be awesome. Uh, just a touchdown, though. Sounds gonna be pretty cool as well. World design, not so much. Cool! FTB faster than bear. Oh, goodness, birth from cheese, hello. Okay. That'll look good to me. I wonder, I think I lose out on some hype by not marketing it earlier on in the development cycle. Bartendo has recently installed solar panels in their offices while the video game and software industries are one of the cleanest industries on earth. Do we have a lot of electricity on solar panels? We're really making it like Hey, we did it! Boost time! Get in there, get in there before it's all over! I wonder if that actually helped at all. I think we got a lot of technology bubbles from that. The boost fire! Power up the boost cannon. Oh man, look at all them bubbles coming out. Very nice. Left for bear at. It's gonna kill it, man. Good management, yes sir. Graphics level up, nice. Okay, let's do it. Pretendo has grown well under your management. I think it's time to move the company. No, man, we still can't afford it, Austin. That's really expensive, dude. We need to at least have one more massive success before we even think about doing that. Rumors are spreading that Nintendo is working on a new game console. Most of the rumors state that it is not a successor to the somewhat disappointed game sphere, but instead a new console in the mobile market. Game League has been leading in the mobile market thanks to numerous updates and a large list of very popular games available on the platform, but the hardware is aging quickly and many players wonder what will be next. Okay. First reviews for Left 4 Bear At have come in. Let's see what we got. A 10? Everyone loves it! Oh man, we're doing good! Best of its kind? Oh my god. It's gotta be the at. It's gotta be the at. Right there. That's... That's the money maker. Straight tens. A must have. Truly great. Oh, this is awesome. Oh man. We're gonna make so much money. Game report. Perfect scores. Perfect game. Clean score of 10 across the board. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Well, it's not selling nearly as much as our last game, but... Okay. Left for Bear Ad, which was recently released by Vanilla's back of over 500,000 sales. Hell yes! Oh my god, everyone loves it! New research available for large games. Ooh! Okay, Austin, we might be taking you up on your offer pretty soon here, buddy. But first of all, I want to see this game report. Gameplay, very important. Platform audience match mature on the MX is good. Topic audience match is great, though. Perfect game, man. Oh, man, this is good. <laughs> this is really awesome. Oh, one million sales. Nice. Competitors are envious. Yeah! That's what I like to see. Anna Mathias, you are perfectly timed in your subscription. 10 out of 10, Anna Mathias. Would love to bear hug you for subscribing again. Welcome to the bear cave, my friend. Put up your feet. Enjoy it. Get cozy. You're here for the long haul, Adam Matthews. Thank you so much for your subscription to the channel. You are fantastic. I love you. Let's train up. Let's do some research. What can we do here? Actually, you know what we could do? Let's, uh, let's do a contract job. Get a few more research bubbles. If we can. Time tracking looks good. Well, then again, yeah, we can probably do it. I'm gonna get the research bubbles from it anyway. There are a lot of good surprises waiting for you in Left 4 Bear at. Computer-controlled entities in this game are so incredibly convincing that I got myself talking at them at times. Left 4 Bear at really deserves the top spots in the charts. 8 out of 10 is meh. Oh, God. It's good, man. I like having the boost. I bet the, the boost pushed it over the edge. That's what happened. Alright, we're not gonna hit this one, but that's okay. I didn't get any research bubbles off it either, so maybe it's not. Yep, that was not a good, that was not a good contract. Hope we can make it next time. Bomber. Well, we did get the 80 points necessary, so let's go ahead and 
research with Austin Steele. I'm gonna go for, uh, let's go for 3D Graphics V3. You can make some pretty looking games. And I'm gonna buy a large goddamn booth at G3 because it's about time I got my recognition there, man. It's about time G3 recognized our brilliance. Look at this! We might be moving into a new office, man. This is crazy. Let's see if we can do one more contract job here. I'd like to get the uh, the research boost. Let's get accounting software, sure. We got some tech guys. Oh goodness, research cross platform soon. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Left for bar. Come on, if you don't love left for bear at, what are you gonna love? Give me some. Give me some numbers in that far left column. Row, whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, keep them coming. 469, that's an ideal number. Top 100? We did! Number 75, okay. That's good. I don't know if it really helped me that much, but it makes me happy to even see that work. I'm just throwing money around probably, dude. All right, $77,000, that's a drop in the hat. Let's make another game. Let's do it, man, let's go. Uh, sequels are working pretty well, apparently. We can make the sequel to Bear Low, although that was not that long ago. The Bear Among Us Werewolf action game could, could probably use a sequel as well. Hmm. We have been making a lot of action games lately. Let's see. Batman Begins, the detective adventure game. That did pretty well. Didn't have a ton of profit. Uh, you know, I'd be, I'd be okay with making the sequel to Batman Begins. The Bert... The bear, the bear knight. The bear knight, yes. I think we'll have to, uh... 469, 6, mi six minus 9 equals 3. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how... It's negative 3, yeah. The at does work. Bear low at. Oh man, we gotta roll with that, do it. Oh yeah, that's right, we gotta make a new engine. Totally forgot about that. Good call, alright. Bear engine, number 5, V4. Nope. Before there we go, all right. 3D graphics, version three, advanced cutscenes, video playback, character progression, all the good stuff, stuff, stuff. Nice. That's a really good looking engine to me, man. The dark bear rises. Yes, I think we'll have to. You know what, Austin Steele? I think you're right, dude. I think it's time. Let us move into the great unknown. Whoa! Welcome to the new headquarters of Bertendo. We now have more space so you can increase the team further. The new office is also close to some renowned universities, which gives us great access to new talent. Nice! Oh my god! We had just learned that you have opened your new headquarters not too far away from our university. We are just about to start a special course about game development. We could really use your help. Fortunately, we cannot offer any pay, but I think you will find that teaching students about game development will be a great exercise to refine your own skills. New training options. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, baby. Look at this beautiful place. This new office is amazing. The location is perfect too. I took a walk around the building and I was about to open our research and development department. This could really speed up our research and it would also allow us to attack bigger projects and innovations. It wouldn't be cheap, but I think it would allow us to be the leading innovator in the game industry. I, I agree with that, Sergio. I've done some research. I think we should open a lab and hire a whole team of researchers. Before we can do this, however, we should have at least one design specialist in our team. You need a design specialist to open a research and development lab. You can train someone to become a specialist via the training menu. The option is only available once they have a certain design skill level. You can also train technology specialists, which come in handy for later options. Cool! Left for Bear ad is now off the market. It generated nearly $30 million. Dead person seeing a stream makes me so happy. Dead person, I'm glad you're here. There's a little Meat Boy and Bit Trip runner. Where are they? Somewhere. Oh my god, that's adorable. I love it. There's a little journey guy too in the, uh, whatever that is. I forgot what he's called. I don't know what that one is, but I recognize that one. 500,000 engine. Oh my god, yeah, that's a lot of money. Vending machine hype. Badger number 5v4 is done. Let's, uh, let's see here. Design specialist is, oh my god, that's kind of far away. Five million dollars too. I have 33 points. Let's spend some money training somebody. I think it's gonna be me. Cutting edge stuff, so you're doing very well, but you need to top off your budget. I've got a couple of big jobs that need to be taken care of. Alright, large contracts have been unlocked. Nice. I'm gonna train myself with the boost. 
real quick. And then, uh, let's go ahead and send some dudes on vacay, because we might as well. There you go. There you go, guys. Ball rock. Oh, caves. Oh, yeah, it's a cave story toaster. Yeah. I've announced a new mobile console called the Ninvento GS. It features two screens, one of them touch sensitive and promises unique gameplay. When Ninvento has been struggling to regain their market lead ever since DS64, they still have a very strong position in the mobile market. Ninvento GS promises to strengthen this position and aims to bring life into a stagnating mobile market. The console will be stores next month. No exception for watching the ETLS Dr. Soup. Hello, managed to make it one of these. Hello, Water Tipper. How you doing? Glad you can make it. Okay, Sergio, you're not doing anything. Let's go ahead and uh, get you trained on something. Here, buddy. You actually know what? Let's see if there's a new topic you can do. Ooh, the PPS. Nice. Portable places. The media analysts speculate this announcement is meant to distract users from Nevento's launch of the Nevento GS. Utilizes an innovative dual screen. The PPS makes uh, use of a single screen and will focus on giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. Cool beans! Let's see what new, new topics we got. we got. Oh man, there's not really anything. I guess they want me to research these other ones before I can do anything else. Let's go ahead and do hunting, I suppose. Okay, I've got a boost now on my own character, which is fantastic. I think we might do a contract job real quick. See what kind of large contracts we got going on. Not a lot, apparently. Oh wow, there's one. Whoa, that's a big deal. Maybe I can't do these just yet. I'm going to hold off on that. All right, the platform GS by Ninvento has been released. I have an idea. Nebster, you're amazing. I'm glad you're here. I know what I'm going to do. The uh, the GS has just come out. We're making the sequel to My Little Bear, which set a new precedent in the gaming industry. Virtual pet casual game does not need a second genre. That would be kind of silly. This is going to be toward young audiences. It's going to be a medium game. My Little Bear 2 at Bear Taffy. <laughs> you gotta have the at, man. That's all you need. Okay. Um. Oh, hold up. Yep, there's the GS. Alright, casual game on the GS. Pay the license fee. No big deal. New Baringen. Let's do it. Wait till the G phone comes out. Love this game. I love this game too, Mexican Lime. We've been doing pretty damn well on it so far as well. 3D graphics, why not? I bet the VS can handle it. My somewhat larger pair. Oh, man. I might have to do that, Lee. That's a really good idea. Alright, engine doesn't matter at all. Story and quest can be a little bit better. Let's throw all this cool stuff in there. Even though it doesn't matter, but whatever, dude. Who cares? Just throw money away. Have some fun with this. I haven't changed my staff balance in a while because I really don't think I need to. I'm going to wait for Austin to uh, affect the game more before he uses this boost. Oh, we got to market this thing. Large campaign. My little bear too. My slightly larger bear. So totally happening. Not important at all. So Austin's actually not really going to be able to help with the boost, but I suppose I could still make it a thing. And, uh, you know, neither of these are really that important. I suppose dialogue is going to be the best one. Okay, and, uh, boost it up! Do it, buddy! Yeah, you're not really doing anything at all for this one, are you? I guess that was kind of a waste. <laughs> oh, jeez. Santa's little bubba, how you doing? Roland Key from Smash got where the Bear Tendo is working on a new game. Will you really share about your current project? Yeah, certainly. Many of readers are curious about what decisions are going into making a video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Your new game is a virtual pet casual game. Story quests are gameplay. I feel like we just boosted up gameplay a hell of a lot. I just don't remember what happened, though. Dragon Slayer! Dragon Slayer 1902. Bear hug to you. Welcome to the Cave of the Bears, my good friend. You are an esteemed colleague and member forever, now, and always. Risa! Oh, never mind then. You've been here already. You know your way around. Yeah, I go pop a squat, buddy. Welcome back. With open arms, I greet you. Bear hug to you, Dragon Slayer. Thank you very much for your subscription. Really appreciate that. I, I think it's gameplay. Pretty sure that was what I did. Alright, get that hype train going, man. Where's the hype for this? Ask company founder Bear Howie Sutnius. Other industry and professionals agree. Cool! 
He convinced himself that it was true. All right, graphics way up. Sound is going to be a little bit worse, and the world design is going to be a little bit worse as well. Soundtrack, day-night cycle, not important at all. I'm worried that these percents actually mean something. Let's go like that. Uh-oh. All right, so... There. Perfect. Right? I guess. Okay. <laughs> there we go. You're on the sub for like two weeks since you're missing the funds. Dragon Slayer, thank you for re -upping. Josh, congrats on one million. Josh, what'd you get one million of? Do you have one million Twitch subscribers now, Josh? That is fantastic. Well done, J. Smith. Everybody congratulate J. Smith OTI on one million Twitch subscribers. That's incredible. What a guy. He's doing pretty damn well for himself. New combo, good management, hell yeah. Oh wait, we gotta change the name of this thing to... My Little Bear At... Slightly Larger Bear. Damn it, it doesn't fit. <laughs> My Slightly Larger Bear, we'll have to fig figure that out. And then we'll just put an at in there for good measure, there we go. Release the game! Two promotions, three promotions, oh my goodness. Oh wow, special training available as well. New research achievements, oh man, I'm gonna be an achievement horror, aren't I? Let's see, uh, first of all, I'd like to get the game report going. Two minutes, the dream vast will be taken off the market. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it, man. An eight, all right, love it. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, an eight, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Another eight. Straight eights could happen. I'm okay with that. Nine, there we go. Almost perfect. Very good. My little bear to at Bear Taffy. Wait, I didn't change... Oh, I didn't change the name. That's why it was almost perfect. Ah, oh, I ruined the opportunity for a golden god of gaming. Okay, well, the sales aren't as terrific as... As, uh... As I expected. But, still pretty damn good. Alright, cool. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Game Dev Tycoon, guys. We are gonna switch over to Spelunky. This is all, as always, been a hell of a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me here. If this is your first time here, feel free to follow the stream. Nearly at 10,000 followers, so thank you guys so much for that. That's a really cool little statistic. Uh, we're gonna switch over to Spelunky now. The new content patch with the sloth. As well as my little bear tap character, who I figured out can actually still work, which is awesome. Switching over now, gonna roll a few minutes of ads. Thanks so much for watching those as well. I'll see you guys on the other side of the break.